We've got the EcoVac from Freddy Products in England. This is a two kilowatt coolant recycling vacuum. Let's do a little demonstration here on the power of Freddy. We have a little over 50 gallons here. Let's see how fast we can pick it up with the vacuum. Turn it on. It's gonna be a little bit hard to hang on to with one hand, but let's just uh, bury it and see how fast it goes. I'll keep talking so you can hear it's real time. It's a lot of fluid passing through. Trying to hang on. There's 30. Unbelievably powerful vacuum. And we're out of there's an automatic shutoff float. This is a 200 liter. There is an automatic shutoff on this, so you can't overfill it, which is really nice. Uh, pretty much the goal with a unit like this is to reduce your time spent cleaning up. And if you do have an accident, you've got the floor tool to pick up that coolant. The EcoVac is unique because you have two pumps. You have vacuum and discharge, which allows you to vacuum with one hose while simultaneously filtering and returning the clean coolant to the machine with a high flow pump that's similar to pumping gas. The EcoVac comes with some nice attachments. You can also get these on the Micro Plus as an option. You have your crevice tool, your floor tool, your flexible tool, and your high volume tool extension. You can use Freddy to suck up chips just like a regular dry vac. Show you some of that. Chips will be caught in the filter just like if you were filtering the coolant. If you have a little bit of fluid mixed in, it works best, but even with these dry chips, you can suck them up no problem. And sometimes I just like to vacuum up uh, barrels worth of coolant and leave it in Freddy and then go around and distribute it to the different machines. But let's push this guy over a little bit and we'll show filling the machine up. All right, discharge. And what's really neat about Freddy is it can both simultaneously vacuum and discharge. So you're cleaning the coolant through a loop through this cloth filter and returning it back to the machine. Turn it on. And then this is some high power wash down. You gotta be a little careful how hard you squeeze. So we've got a reusable mesh filter inside here. So all we're gonna do is remove the lid. What's really cool about this is if you run the vacuum for a couple seconds after you're finished, it dries the chips pretty well. And then they can be tipped into the recycling bin. There are cloth filters, which I'll show you installing one of those in a moment here, but everything's nicely contained. You always wanna have some sort of filter in here so that you're not subjecting Freddy to basically this type of particulate inside if you didn't have to. Super easy, you just tip it in, and this can be used as many times as you want. I will usually just let this sit in there, and when I get got done with my first round of filtration, I'm now gonna add the cloth filter. We've got a few of the different types of filters. We have a 200 micron reusable, and a 100 micron reusable one. I like to finish things off with a 10 micron cloth filter, like you see here, but super simple. Just put it inside the metal bin, 
Make sure it's down past the seal. These are going to be available on our website as well, so you can purchase a couple extra. We use these several times before disposing them, even the cloth ones. So it's really not too bad. There's really no. Watching this back and post edit, and I see there's a hair on my back making a special guest appearance. I guess that's what happens when you have three daughters. Maintenance costs with Freddy, they're designed to last forever, and there's really no consumables other than the filters. And like I said, they have reusable ones, and the cloth ones I use several times before I dispose of them. And here we've parked Fred until the next time we need him. We have several CNC machines, so he's saving us a ton of time. Anytime you do total change out of the sump, the tanks, things like that, we're able to extend our coolant for a year and a half, two years before we change it out just by simply filtering it every other day or sometimes daily because while you're using it, you can simultaneously use it for wash down inside. And if you've seen some of our videos, that's how this machine stays looking so clean.